What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay. In the background, we have a gameplay on Knockout. In my opinion, probably the second best map in the DLC offering for this go round. Uh, it was actually the first map that I played on when I got the DLC. It was on a safeguard game and I, I liked it from the very start and it was on core. But uh, real quick, you're going to notice that I'm playing with the Weevil in this game and I have been playing with the Weevil a lot. My setup is great. It works really, really well for me. I don't run Ghost. I run Scavenger and Fast Hands, Dead Silence and Awareness. And then as for attachments on the gun, I think at the time I had Grip, Stock and Quick Draw. I don't believe I had Fast Max yet. I could have. But uh, since then, I have unlocked Fast Max and I've been playing with that because I rush spawn a lot and it works so well when you get into the spawn. I don't know exactly what they did to the Weevil, but I will tell you this, it kills and it kills very quickly from range. The hip fire is really nice on it now. Uh, the ADS, of course I'm running with quick draw and fast hand, so the ADS is insane on this gun, but I like it. I like it a lot. In my opinion, I think it's probably the second best SMG in the game now. I think it has surpassed the CUDA because I have played with the CUDA a little bit. I'm not saying the CUDA is null and void. I'm just saying I think the Weevil in the hardcore mode has passed the CUDA. I'm still going to say that the Razorback is probably the all around best SMG. The fire rate gets you killed sometimes up close. But overall, because you can um, engage people at range, the Razorback is probably going to defeat the Weevil. Now, what do I know about Knockout? The flow is really, really good on Knockout. You have three predominant lanes of traffic. Uh, one of them is more long range. That's the one when you go off on the cliff side. Um, you're going to have more longer range engagements. But I will say this. If you're able to pass on the cliff side, the cliff side would be the, the side that does not have B. Okay, the opposite of the B side. If you can get on the enemy flank on either one of the sides on that side, you're going to do way more damage. Okay, just trust me on that. Now, the other one is the side with the big gongs on the wall. And by the way, if you shoot those gongs or jump into them, you will make a noise and it will give away your position at time. It's, it's kind of cool, actually. Here's the thing on the wall run over there. You can go high which about 90% of the people do, or you can go low. And if you go low, if you're successful with that, you can surprise the enemy. Okay, so just keep that in mind. The B position is pretty good. They have, you know, pretty much like on all the maps, they have a little room right beside B with a little overwatch on it. Not exactly the safest route because people can hide right below that balcony. So just keep that in mind. Um, I would say preference on spawn. I think if you're in the C spawn, it's easier to get trapped than if you're in the A spawn. A spawn is huge back there. It's much harder to work. Keep that in mind. If you do have the enemy in the A spawn, the disco room is the easiest way to control that spawn. Whereas if you have the enemy in the C spawn, if you can get on the other side of the big gongs, uh, you can control the C spawn really, really well from there. Okay. Uh, score streaks work pretty well. Um, I am noticing because I've been going up against primarily uh, full teams of six that, you know, when I call in my, my hater, my wraith, and my raps, they get knocked out really quick. And if I was playing against randoms, I mean, this, this game right here would easily have been a 100 kill game. And it could have been, it could have been so much more. I misread the mini map. I knew where a guy was. And I thought when I jumped up, I was going to kill him. And I misread it and I died. If I hadn't died there, I probably would have recast my streaks again and that would have guaranteed the 100 kill on this. But this is a great game. You'll notice towards the end of the game as well that I put the Weevil away and I go for the Razorback. The reason was is because the enemy started to hide in the back of their spawn. And I was having a real hard time picking them off with the Weevil in the back of the spawn because I don't run an optic on the Weevil like I do on the Razorback. I'm more precision with the Razorback and the Weevil, I could not hit them from range because I kept on losing them in the iron side. So you'll see me do that and there's a nice little streak at the very end of the game. So overall, I think Knockout's a great map. Um, I'm trying to think of a good map to compare to. It's about the size of Grind from Black Ops 2. It flows really, really well. Not a whole lot of camp spots and head glitches, which I really like. Probably the most frustrating thing you're going to find is on that gong side is people like to camp up top on that little platform. So it makes it really, really difficult to flank 
probably after mid game it makes it really difficult to flank from that side so you're gonna have to do the long-range engagement side on the cliff and there are some paths and some wall runs on the cliff side that you got to be very very careful of okay oh, careful as in the enemy can flank on that side Overall, it's a beautiful map. I think it works really, really well. I don't really find any major dominant positions in it. It seems pretty balanced. I think you guys will like it. And as always, man, you guys have got to try out this Weevil. I've been trying to get a much better gameplay with the Vesper. I still haven't unlocked Fast Mags, and as soon as I do, I'll play with it. And one real quick thing before I upload this video that's coming up on Rift. By the way, I did drop 100 kills on Rift. You guys, shotguns are amazing on Rift. The Haymaker and the Brecky because you can keep all your engagements super close. Just keep that in mind. Probably out of all the maps, Rift is the best one for a shotgun. As always, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. We'll talk about Knockout and subscribe for more. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.